In today's episode of the Project Photography, we're going to be going to Victoria Beach to keep on shooting on the 17 to 28 f2.8 that I tested out on my last video. I'm extremely excited to get some new images, but also I want to give a huge announcement that I'm extremely excited to make in this video. So let's jump right in, do some landscape photography. What is up y'all, it is the Project Photography back with another video and today people, today we've got another incredible landscape photography shoot here at Victoria Beach. I know this area looks familiar because I actually did use it in a previous video for Treasure Island Beach, but today we're shooting at Victoria Beach. But first of all, we just hit 3,000 subscribers. I'm so incredibly amped up and excited that we hit this mark. I wanna thank all of you guys for supporting me. It really means a lot. But in lieu of hitting 3K, I actually want to announce my Patreon. I know this is something I've been working on for a while, something I've been thinking about, where I can post pretty much unfiltered content, extra content for you guys to enjoy, and it's gonna be weekly, and we're gonna have incredible things like editing live streams, as well as vlogs, and I give a behind the scenes tour of my studio that is actually live right now that you can watch right this second if you check out the Patreon. We're gonna have other things like editing videos where I walk through the behind the scenes of how I edit images and whatnot. And there's just a ton more content to go, including things like Q and A's. So I am extremely excited to announce this to you guys. And I just wanna support those who have been there since the beginning, supporting me on my channel. And I just wanna create some amazing content for you guys. So if you guys are interested, we're building an incredible community over at Patreon. So check it out down in the description bar below. But anyways, guys, we are gonna be doing another POV shoot with this lens. And the reason why is that I wanna get more images and more testing of this lens so I can make a full review. So for now, it is not you know, 4.45 when it will be sunset. So we have about an hour and a half, give or take. Until then, we're gonna be walking around, looking at, you know, where it can be possibly shot, take some B-roll and just uh, have a good time vlogging. So anyways, guys, let's jump right in and get right to it. So we're coming down on the beach that I actually wanted to come shoot at. Now this is on the other side of Treasure Island Beach, it's called Victoria Beach. And the structure that I want to shoot is way over there. It's almost like this tower, I'm not sure what that is, it's kind of in the middle of the frame right there. It's definitely something that I haven't really incorporated into my landscape, like man-made objects really. But I think it'll be interesting to see what I can go ahead and capture with that. I know there's a lot of like house structures over there, so it'll definitely be a different feel to landscapes but I think it'll be interesting to see what we can get. So uh, yeah, it's almost like about time to shoot, to be honest, the sun's going down as you can see, but I'm just really interested to see the photos that we get here. All right, so now it is about time to shoot. It's about 4.15, give or take. Sun sets at 4.45, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot some photos. Uh, I wanna go on the other side first to see what it looks like, but yeah. Let's just get started, do some PV photography with the Nikon Z17-28 f2.8. Can't wait, really excited. What's up y'all, we're now behind the scenes, behind the camera, and we're gonna go through a little bit of a dialogue while we watch me actually go through some landscape photography. So as I said in the video, I'm using my 17-28 just to get more images in and testing before I make my final review. And one thing I really wanna note in this shoot is that I really try to create a lot of depth in my images. And I think a big reason for that is because I feel like this landscape lacked a lot of that depth, um, mainly yes. because okay. the only That's thing that I, I could use to create depth with these rocks, and because there's not much in terms of a shoreline, you really have to create that on your own. So right here, I put my camera to vertical orientation, get the three step on there, just so we can create a one second long exposure. And this is the image that we come out with. And I edit it right away because this is the image that I really liked, mainly because I like the water and how it was moving. It was definitely the most dynamic feel in terms of the water. And a great part about this location is that you're almost shooting into a tide pool. So there's gonna be a lot more movement in the water than your normal you know, beach shot. But of course, I just wanna show you one more image that I take on this exact location. So 
this is that image, but as you can see, there's not nearly as much water movement, so this is a big reason why I like the first one. But I, of course, take more images than that. I just don't need to show you all of them. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually moving back a lot more because I want to create a horizontal orientation photo. And right here, I'm actually taking off my three stop, putting on the six stop. But like I said, right, we're going to try to create a little bit more depth in the image. And I want to use this foreground of the moss and this uh, water and these small tide pools to create a nice sort of foreground element and just make a more interesting photo because this area was kind of hard to create compositions. So I was trying my best to create those and forge them in a way that I thought was necessary. So we got that 30 second long exposure and this is kind of the idea I'm going for. We have that nice long exaggerated cliff side on the right hand side but then the foreground element is this moss and this tide pool it just creates some nice reflections and whatnot but as we move on here i kind of realized that i want to create a even more depth in my image mainly because i don't like how the composition was i felt like it was a little flat so i go ahead and move back introduce a few more elements into the yeah. photo especially those rocks on the bottom right hand side and this is the image we come out with I really like this one, so I go ahead and edit. I felt like the colors could have been better. I also felt like the lighting could have been better. The problem with this shoot is that the lighting and the colors didn't go the way I necessarily wanted to, so there's just something I had to work with there. But overall, I do enjoy this composition for where we were at. There's only so much you can do, but I think the image came out pretty well. So let's go ahead and move on here. And oh, okay. right now, I'm gonna well, go well, ahead well, and turn my like attention yourself. to the Anyways. tower in the background, kind of the reason why I'm making this video in the first place, right? So we're gonna go ahead and move our camera a lot further back, try to create a lot of depth between myself as well as the tower. And so we can just see what compositions can come out of it. One reason why I think this area is really nice is because we have this canal at the bottom here. So what I can go ahead and do is use the canal in order to have a leading sort of object into the tower in the background but that's something that I'm gonna be using in a later part of this video. So what I'm really doing right here is putting my camera into horizontal orientation. I'm shooting at 28 millimeter because I want to see the type of effect I can have. And this is the image we come out with. I do feel like we're not utilizing that canal on the bottom and I feel like it's not doing exactly what I want. So just to test out a few more compositions, I go ahead and throw my camera into vertical orientation and see what kind of leading lines we can get with that. Mainly because right, if we're shooting a vertical orientation, our eyes move from the bottom of the frame to the top normally. And this is the photo that we get. And I think it's not bad. It's definitely not a bad composition, but I think it could definitely be better. I feel like we're not really getting the entire grasp of the canal. And I feel like that's in part due to being 17 millimeters right at the wide down. So I go ahead and put my camera back into a vertical orientation. I set my lens to 17 millimeters. And then I go ahead and create the composition that I wanted. Uh, mainly because I'm shooting at a wide angle, I'm able to capture everything in the frame and there's no way I can move farther back because I would have fallen off into the water and I probably would not have bowed too well against that. So we're gonna go ahead and capture the image right here. And this is exactly what I wanted, right? We're gonna create that nice feeling of movement with the bottom of the frame with the canal all the way into the tower. And you see this edited version right here. I don't mind this photo at all, mainly because I think the colors are definitely a lot better. They're a lot more workable. I probably should bring down the exposure just a little bit, but overall, I really like this image a lot. This is probably one of the better images I took today, but I like the colors in the background. I think the composition is as good as we could possibly get it. And honestly, from where I was, this is, I think the best result we could possibly ask for. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much the end of the shoot. It wasn't a very long shoot, mainly because I felt like there wasn't as much to work with here. So these are the three photos that I edited. I think they're actually pretty decent. I like them a lot. So let me know what's your favorite down in the comment section down below, guys, and let's get back to the video. All right, we just finished shooting. I think we got some pretty decent photos. I mean, honestly, there wasn't much that I thought uh, was actually good for shooting landscapes. It was a lot more flat than I thought, but I honestly thought we got some pretty decent images and I'm pretty happy with them for the most part, considering where we were shooting. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of my POV stuff. Let's go back to the car and uh, finish the video. All right, y'all, that is pretty much the end of the video. I got all the shots that we wanted. 
I'm pretty happy with how the images came out for the most part. It was really interesting to shoot that for sure. So I was vlogging the majority of the day and I'm still gonna be vlogging after this. So if you wanna see that vlog in conjunction with this video, from what I did the rest of the day, feel free to check out my Patreon where that's gonna be. Check it out guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for experiencing the world with me today. If you liked the video, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I don't think I have anything to say. Bye. Bye.